A viewer asked me to make a cutting board for his mother. In this video, I'm making a cutting board for Lillian. So let's back the car out, get the shop set up, and get started. The viewer said his mother likes the color yellow. So I used Yellow Heart and contrasted the yellow with Walnut. Then he decided that Purple Heart and Cherry would be a good combination for the top and bottom of the pattern. Here I am cutting the cherry and making sure that the strips are the same size as the other strips that I already cut. Now to lay out the strips of wood to make the pattern for the viewer to approve before gluing it up. With final approval of the pattern, I can now glue the whole thing together. Got to make sure there's plenty of glue on all edges. Maybe too much glue? Nah, you can't have too much glue. Now that the cutting board is glued and clamped, I'll let it set overnight. Had to use a rubber mallet to get the clamps off. Too much glue, maybe? Using a chisel to scrape off some of the excess glue. making sure the board is flat before running it through the thickness planer. I think Copper was expecting to go for a walk instead of working on the cutting board this morning. Setting the planer to smooth out the top and bottom of the board. Taking a little beagle break. Hang on Copper, we'll walk in a few minutes. giving the board a good sanding all over. And now measuring and cutting the final size of the board. Checking the board over. At 
have to make sure the ends are sanded extra smooth. Using my router to cut a nice chamfer on the top and bottom. The next day, after taking copper for a walk, I set up a temporary jig to cut the juice groove on the top of the cutting board. This is my first time cutting a juice groove. I learned a lot and have plans to make a jig for a juice groove cutting for future projects. Sanding the groove. Giving the board its final sanding. Personalizing the board on the laser engraver. And now my favorite part of making cutting boards. That magical moment when the conditioner is applied and all the colors pop. The yellow heart really comes out next to the darker walnut. Here's the final part. I'm attaching little rubber feet to the bottom of the board. And voila, the completed cutting board for Lillian.